There you go. That's what it's about, that Evo trophy. This is the way. This is the way. The Fang way. Geese right. Howard versus Fang. And yeah, we're gonna see a couple geese in this top eight. We're also gonna see a couple Julias in this top eight. That's a character that's you know kind of grown and risen as people have looked at the character and over these years, players have gotten better with her. So it's gonna be very interesting once we get to the loser's bracket. I'm gonna ask the real question. You think we're gonna see panda in this top eight? We could. We've never seen a panda on the top eight stage at EVO. It might be fun, but we're going to the opening stage here. Infinite Azure 2, Geese versus Fangwei, Korea versus Korea. Some jabs early start up, and knee very poke heavy, right? Very movement based. So you're gonna see right now, look at him, he's fishing with those low parries. And I'm gonna say this straight up, I don't think we've seen a character, especially with the improvements that Fangwei has, that fits knee's aggressive playstyle as much as Fangwei does. And no, let me tell you, like I said, against all of the top players, me has looked ridiculous, right? Like a robot, a machine, whatever you want to call him. But this right now, the way this is starting, Moyo is kind of playing the same game back at him. You know, it's mainly moving, a lot of little pokes, and it's adding up. And look at the life he's got. No one else has been able to do this against me so far at this tournament. Oh yeah, he's chipping away again. Moyo, a lot of people say he is the best geese hands down around the world. He got some tricks that a lot of geese players don't use. So we'll see. Oh, oh my god, my the one plus two, the follow-up. Is he dead? Is he dead? The rage art's coming. No. Decides to save it. He's got the time advantage. Oh my Ducks gosh, he's so, high. he's so good. Me. He, he makes you think that he's just moving around you know, randomly, but everything is calculated with this guy. This is the best version I've has seen in a long time. Oh yeah. And again, maybe it's that thought that we put out there earlier. He wants this evil title. He's not yet had a title for Tekken 7 for the big show. Could be his time. Pat Campbell step doesn't find it. And again, these players so comfortable just with dashing in front of each other's face. Most people would be panicking, but these guys are, again, fearless. He's poke, one poke at a time, really. But yeah, Moyo is really stuffing him. He's preventing the movement. He's using the homing attacks when he needs to. The downboard one check really stopped him as well. And again, small life lead. Yeah, we handled it. Light life needed for Moil. The throw break from Knee, but Knee's behind here on life. Ten seconds left to go in this round. Good look at the sidestep in there. Down back three counters though. Five seconds on the clock. Time's a wasting. He does have the life lead. Knee is starting to pull away. What's happening? What he's are you out doing? Of there. And he blocked it down four at the end. He blocked it at the end. He's like, yeah, you need a big chunky hit. It's going to be the down four, and I'm going to block it with like zero seconds on the clock. You're oh, not yeah. stealing it from me. And traditionally, that is the knee place out. He will whittle you down to the very end. But look at that knee with a two-round lead here. Moyle's going to have to really find some ways to get in. I don't think he can bet on the end of every single round. He needs to do something here. It feels like he's trying to play knees game back, and he's doing a great job of it, better than I've seen most players do. But even still, right, these rounds have been so close down the wire, and he's still clutching it out. Let's see what happens. Gets the wall standing one, two. I think we need to see the thief Howard come up. You know, we need the thief Howard to start using that meter yes. and just steal some rounds away. Like a thief in the night, stealing it away. Ooh. Gets the hit here, unexpected. He has two meters, you better use it or lose it. Again, time one down, knee with the big lead. Look at the sidestep. Oh, he threw, threw, he threw. He's wasting time. He's no running way. the clock. No way, five seconds, you can't do nothing. Do, do that 10 more times. Wait, he actually might win. He might win. Oh my He's going to get the round. How did he get hit by that? Because that. he believed he had enough life to just take all the down fours, so he didn't even try to block them. I mean, that is a characteristic for me as well. He does not duck. He does not duck. He does not want to get broken down or get hit by a mid. He thought it was calculated, but it's shadow time. It's not knee time. Not yet. Not yet. Let's see what happens. Again, these guys going back and forth. This is a very Ooh. nice backsway blow from the Kempo step. No throw break on these one plus twos. Oh, he's nervous. He's not ready for it. Let's see what happens. Knee is with a huge lead here, but Moil, he does have rage. That Deep rage power. art does so much damage if he can land it. He's about to get some meter. Never, never mind. Never, never mind. Knee got this under control. Stay with the offense. You know, the defense failed you in the last round. And Fang is a poke machine. Oh, yeah. That's a nice jacket. You, Very think, nice. you think he's, he's warm? You think he's sweating? He's, <laughs> he's calm and he's calm and controlled. He looks he looks like he's got this. He's got like fans inside it for ventilation. Oh man. Very oh, fancy. Man. All right, these guys getting ready here. Game number two. Knee with the lead here. Again, Khan from Pakistan waiting on the other side of the winner's bracket. <laughs> 
these guys might be going up against the other. I am excited to see how this plays out. We're not even at the loser's bracket yet, but uh, you guys are tuning in. EVO 2022, some of the best Tekken players, some of the best good-ass Tekken that you're going to see. Yeah, and definitely one Korean going to be in that top three, right? Because both oh, yeah. these guys from Korea, and it's going to be a Korea-Pakistan winner's final regardless. Oh, God. You know, talking about the diversity that we've seen in our top eight, unfortunately, we don't have a North American player, but we do right. have four different regions represented, and yes. I love to see it. It's nice to see. Anyways, we're going to go back in. It looks like we are fighting. Oh, my gosh, the abandoned temple. Oh, boy. All right, all right. Knee needs one more game to get in that top three. Let's see what Moyle's adaptations are going to be here. Because the poke game and trying to use the same movement against Need is not working out. Oh, yeah. He's going to have to figure out a way to kind of cut him off at the pass here. He needs to take control of the momentum. The thing is, with momentum and geese, it's so dependent on whether or not you have the meter and you can explode a certain Good time. Good block. He tried to, again, these down fours. He got maybe Knee was playing possum the whole time. Get that confidence. Do your down fours. Let me block them when I need to, and I'm going to destroy you. Yeah, remember that round where you hit me with three of them in a row? Not it totally today. works, dude. Yep. Keep doing it. He's putting the bug in his ear. Do it again, Moyle. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, oh snap. Hop kick. Snap. And that was another thing that was unusual to me. Me using hop kick. Yeah. He's not a hop kick person. But he's using them now, not even just off sides, sometimes just in neutral, standing still. That's the thing, I feel like Nii is one of those players too. His hop kick, if he's going to do a hop kick, it's going to hit. Yes. He's one of those players. Anyways, we're going to go into the action right now. Slight life lead here for Nii. Moel's going to have to turn things up, otherwise it's going to be too little too late. And Nii's so calm, right? Time winding down every single round. He's like, yeah, but life bar's about even, which means I'm winning. Because when it comes down to the poke at the end, I have the advantage. He's so good with his sidestep left. Yeah. Trying to build these up too, he's not going to get the punish there. Knee right now, looking to close it out, oh but there boy. is rage. Time again, back for Fish hook him. Get him out of here. Knee one round away from going to winner's final. Here we go. Uh, such a dominant okay. performance so far from Knee. He's optimizing. He's making things happen. He's going to get the wall. Hey. Oh, why are you moving? Where are you going? Get off me. One plus two throw. No ducking that high. Oil's in trouble. All right, the follow-up here, nice punish. Let's see what he does here. There's a huge life lead here for Nii. Moel on life support right now. How is he going to react? He does have some meter. He's in big trouble. He's in big trouble. Can't find any big opening. Nii's not letting him have nothing. Back tempo step, and that will be enough. Nii, 2-0 to zero over Moel. He's going to the winner's final to face Khan. Khan has have to be watching this match with so much intent, because, again, he uses geese as well. He has to be shook right now. He has to be shook. It doesn't matter what character you're using. Nii is so comfortable fighting against all the characters with this character Fang. I, I don't know how you stop him right now. I don't know who can stop him right now. It's insane, but man, I can't wait to see. We will see both Nii and Khan later on today as they play in a longer set in our winner's finals. And oh man, loser's back. Are you ready for that?